Welcome back to the RV Rundown, the segment where we take a quick look at some of the hottest floor plans on the market today. I'm your host, Barry, and I'm standing inside a brand new Jayco Eagle HT, a 2022 model. This is the 284 BHOK. This is a family-oriented floor plan. It's a corner bunk, corner bath style model. We'll get into that in just a little bit. But I want to take you to the front of the camper to start this quick tour because this has a pretty awesome little bedroom. Now keep in mind guys as we walk through this door that I'm six foot three. I don't have to duck and go under the door frame. We have sliding doors here that buckle in for transport, open up and close and actually have a small latch to keep everything closed away. I think that's pretty cool for privacy purposes. Here in the main bedroom, we have a queen bed that's sitting on a platform with our standard travel trailer storage in the form of hanging closets on both sides. And then we've got some nice shelving units up top. What I like is how they've elevated this. They've made our platforms on both sides flush with the bed mount, which means we could put a larger mattress in here if we wanted to. So if you want to go up to a king, there's space to do that. On both sides of the bed, we have power in the form of USB and standard outlets. You can see we have our inverter controller there back there too. We'll talk about that a little more in a bit. This is a 50 amp service two AC unit. One of the ACs is right here in this room. So this room can have its own climate control. We have a television mounting point here with all of our connection points up high and they've taken advantage of some of the space at the back of the bathroom to give us a little more storage in the form of some shelving, a little open area here and a three drawer system below it. So there's plenty of space in here for those longer trips and bringing along clothing. Having windows on both sides of this room allows us to open it up and create a cross breeze on those nice days. Pushing back into the main body of the camper, we see that this has one slide. And as I was saying earlier behind me, we have the corner bunk, corner bath at the rear. The main kitchen area features an awesome U-shaped dinette. This can be converted into a bed that could sleep two adults. One thing I really like about it is the fact that it is over six feet long. So somebody my height at six foot three could sleep on this as a guest without any issues. Our kitchen is equipped pretty well because of the shape of it. We have plenty of counter space. They've given us covers for our sink just to extend that, a nice cutting board, as well as a drain cover too. Re pulling those up reveals that dual basin stainless steel sink with a nice high faucet for washing out pots and pans. I love all the white cabinetry that we have in here. It really makes it feel like a large space. They've split those up to where we have shelves high and low all the way across. Above our Furion microwave, we have a little bit more storage. Below that, we have a three burner stove with a glass top, again, extending that counter space. A nice, decent size oven here. And below that, they've incorporated a large drawer for pots and pans, really thinking things through. The big backsplash is really nice too because it runs the full length between the cabinetry there and really just ties that kitchen together. Our Dometic electric refrigerator is a 12 volt system, so it's not gas electric. That's gonna give it a little more volume inside for those longer trips and having, again, just more storage. Storage is the name of the game. I mentioned earlier, I'm six foot three. There's plenty of headroom in here and we have ducted AC with quiet in the main body here. Down below our cabinets here, I forgot to point this out, but we have a little extra storage built into our dinette by way of these tubs and the reveal by opening up these cabinets on the side. Pushing closer to the back of the camper, we end up in our living room. This is a kind of neat way to do things. We have a trifold sofa here that's directly across from our entertainment center. This does let out to become yet another bed for this unit, sleeping an additional two. Ultimately, you could push up to 10 people sleeping in here. That'd be a lot for me personally, but it can be done. 
The entertainment center directly across from that couch features our flat screen TV, a big Furion sound bar, a 30 inch Furion electric fireplace that is a heater so it does put out heat by way of electricity and it has multiple colors that you can tune in as well. We have some shelving up top, but moreover, this hides its own little secret. There's a handle in here behind the TV. And if we give it a pull, we reveal a nice big pantry. That thing's huge. Lots of storage in there. Lots of smart little tricks from Jayco as we push through this. The TV is also on a mount so it can come out and away and point towards the kitchen, the dinette, back here towards the rear of the camper. It can be repositioned in a multitude of ways. At the back of the camper, we have our bunk system. We have a nice built-in ladder here, some storage off to the side, a big handle for the little kids to grab. I wanna point out how thick these mattresses are too. These teddy bear mattresses are super thick compared to some of the bunks that are out on the market today. Other nice touches are things like cabinetry, a back in the back for extra storage, windows on both levels, USB ports as well. And then they thought about having that extra family storage here we can flip this bunk mattress back and over, give this a push up and in, and it clicks into place to lock it in the up position. And as you can see at the very back, we have a load in door and tie down straps down there so that we can bring along bicycles or other large luggage pieces. Behind this door, we have our bathroom. The bathroom in this is actually quite spacious. It's very deep. The shower itself is quite tall as well. Again, I've mentioned it multiple times. I'm six foot three. I can get into this shower and I'm not even in the skylight of it. So that's really nice. It's got plenty of space to turn and move around. The glass surfaces are easily cleaned up as well. We have plenty of storage in here in the form of cabinetry. Our foot flush toilet is nicely mounted. We've even got a medicine cabinet that's quite deep up high. Another thing I wanna point out on this particular model before we head outside is that this is run on the J command system. So it's a touchscreen system that we have immediately as we walk through our door with lights accessible at the bottom so we can have light as soon as we come through. This is also accessible through a phone app, which allows you to control the slides, the jacks, the awnings, all from a touch of the button on your phone making it easy to run things in and out from outside of the unit. Now, one thing we always get asked, what does it look like with the slide in? Well, let's show you, let's run that slide in. As you can see with the slide in, we have pretty much access to the full camper. So from front to back, the only thing we really can't get into here is our master bedroom. We have access to the pantry, access to the kitchen, access to the bathroom, the bunk rooms, there's not much you can't get to. So that's kind of neat. It's a smart layout on Jayco's part. Now that we've taken a quick look at that, let's pop outside and check out some of those features. Stepping outside the 284 BHOK, we have something pretty cool going on right here at the entry door. Notice that we have a big grab handle and they've gone ahead and installed a second grab handle on our stairs. And these stairs are also strut assisted. That means they easily go in and out of the camper. It doesn't really take a lot of effort to do. So a child could do it, grandma could do it. I like that a lot. In addition to that, they make contact with the ground making us a very stable and secure way to get in and out of the camper. We have our outside kitchen and that's what our OK stands for in the BHOK. Magnetic catches hold that insulated baggage door up. We have a big R-Vision refrigerator here. Nice drawers. This is metal here, so it's not going to swell like some of the wood outside kitchens would. And then we have a sink here, as well as our J-Port down low. This allows us to plug in a grill. We have propane attachments down low as well. Also back here, we have a spot to hook up a TV. All of this is up under our awning. It runs out at the touch of a button. It's a big electric awning that covers our entrance, the outside kitchen, and this nice large patio space here. This unit is equipped 
with automatic leveling. So what we have here is the ground control 3.0 system. It's an electric leveling system. It's tied into that BM Pro, so we can run it out at the touch of a button on our phone. In addition to that, this has a drop frame. So that allows us a whole lot of storage right here in the pass through. And we can see our inverter there on the roof tied to that. We have 380 watts of solar. So that's gonna keep all of our 12 volt systems topped off for boondocking and camping off grid. It's not gonna be enough to run your AC, but it's gonna keep the lights on and it's gonna allow for all sorts of other great activities inside the camper. At the very front, we have this huge molded front cap, a large battery tray that could double as a generator space, or just extra storage right there in addition to our pass-through. The electric tongue jack is tied into that leveling system, and it also operates at the touch of a button as well. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this quick tour of the 284 BHOK from Jayco. It's a super cool eagle. I think it's a neat travel trailer. You should see it for yourself in person at Southern RV in McDonough, Georgia. You can give us a call at 770-477-0552 if you have any questions or check us out online at southernrv.com. Be sure to give us a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the video today. And until next time, as always, happy camping.